Right, we just want to run through wiring up a run-stop switch, a leading edge turbine's run-stop switch, which you should receive with your wind turbine. Um, we're going to go through the configuration for the LE300 and LE450 wind turbine. So if we open the manual to page 33, uh, we can see there's a small wiring diagram at the bottom here, which we are going to follow today. So if we take this out of the box, um, so the first thing to do is to dismantle the switch. Um, we do this by undoing the small Phillips screw that holds the actual switch mechanism, which we'll replace later when we reassemble the switch. So we'll put that to one side and then we need to Pull the two halves of the switch apart. So now we can see we can pull the complete switch out of the housing. Right, the important thing to note is the pin numbers. We've got pin 1 refers to the pin on the left, pin 3 refers to the pin on the right. The same pin 5 refers to the pin on the left, pin 7 to the right, pin 9 to the left, pin 11 to the right. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a small piece of wire like this and if we look at the manual there is a short circuit link between pins 3 and pin 7. So between pins 3 and pin 7 we need to put in a small piece of wire. So if we try and find pins 3 and pin 7 we need to push this piece of wire into those terminals and tighten so we've got an electrical contact. This wire is here for when we turn the switch to the stop position. We need the stator in the wind turbine to short circuit and in effect it causes uh, an electromagnetic break. And basically we do that by inserting this short circuit link. Right, now we need to connect our wind turbine to the switch. If we refer to the manual We've got a wild DC from the turbine connected positive pin 2, negative pin 6. So if we look here, we've got pin 2 on the right, pin 6 is on the pin right uh, below pin 2. So we need positive from the wind turbine to pin 2, negative from the wind turbine to pin 6. can be a bit fiddly. And the negative of the wind turbine to pin 6. And we need to tighten these to get the electrical contact. So that's the wind turbine connected. On the right hand side here we have the wired DC going to the batteries or yeah, going to the batteries so we need the positive battery terminal connected to pin 1 and the negative battery terminal connected to pin 5 so if we have a look on the switch you can see we've got pin 1 on the left hand side pin 5 on the left hand side below pin 1 so we need a positive to pin 1 and a negative to pin 5. Okay, so once we've finished wiring up 
the one run stop switch. It's very important to go around the terminals that we haven't used and just make sure that they're all tight to closed. Um, we often get faulty switches back to the factory and when we go around and tighten these unused pins we find that the switches actually work absolutely fine. Okay, so we're now ready to reinstall the switch into its housing. In this particular case we'll just run the wires out through the top here. Um, in reality you'll probably want to use some cable glands here. Uh, we also need to make sure on the bottom of the switch here there's a hole for a pin that's on the back of the case. So when we slot this in we just need to make sure it's located properly. And then we push the top back together. Screw the casing and just replace the switch on the top there. Okay, so the switch is currently in the run position. It should mean that these two positive cables are connected to each other. So if we get our voltmeter put it on our continuity test. If we connect the positives both here and here we see we have continuity. And just to check that the switch is working when we go to stop it should stop the switch. Okay so we also need to check the two negative wires do the same. So in the run position we have a sound, in the stop position it goes away. And there's finally one more test to do. The two terminals from the wind turbine, basically in the run position we shouldn't have continuity between them. If I just connect my two wires to the voltmeter. Here, yeah, but when we put the switch in the stop position, we have continuity. And basically, the small short circuit link that we put between pins 3 and 7 is causing a short circuit in the wind turbine stator in the stop position. This actually causes an electromagnetic break in the wind turbine itself, so, um, so in the stop position the turbine won't be producing any power. Okay, so the last thing just to emphasise is on top of your run stop switch we should now have a yellow sticker stating that it's a temporary stop only. So basically we only want to use the run stop switch for maintenance purposes. We do not want to use the run stop switch to stop the turbine during high winds. Um, during high winds um, the best thing to do is to tether the wind turbine uh, but if you haven't done that it's best to let the turbine run free and um, produce the power. If we have the turbine in the stop position uh, during high winds and the wind overcomes the electromagnetic break the stator will burn out. So please only use the run stop switch for maintenance purposes only.